What's up guys, my name is Mark Steiner and today is a special day because this is the first ever sponsored video on my channel. You may feel free to congratulate me in the comment section. So because this is a sponsored video, this will be more of a product showcase than it will be a full on review. The reason it's taken me so long to accept a sponsorship is because I only accept sponsorships from companies and products I'm interested in and truly believe in. And this collaboration so happened to work out perfectly. Thank you to everyone who has supported the channel and allowed this opportunity to happen. Y'all are the real MVPs. And without further ado, Let's jump right into it. This is the brand new Molus G200 Lite from Zhiyun. That's right, I haven't seen a single YouTuber pronounce their name correctly, and it would be a travesty to my Hong Kong upbringing if I didn't pronounce it correctly, so repeat after me, Zhiyun. But I digress. This light is pretty sweet, and as the name suggests, it's a 200 watt light with some tricks up its sleeve. It comes in this wonderful carrying case, which I absolutely love. It's super durable and protects the light, and it's just a little bit larger than a gimbal carrying case. What comes in the case is pretty standard. You get the light, power adapter, power cable, reflector, and a protective cap for the light. The build quality of this light is pretty solid, it doesn't feel cheap or like it's going to fall apart, but it's also not built to take a beating. Because of its small size, one of the wonderful features about this light is that it's designed to be taken on the go and transported with you, whereas I'd recommend a lot of other lights are permanent fixtures in a studio setup. What is probably the most impressive thing about this light, at least to me, is its small size. Zhi Yun was able to achieve this by splitting the actual light from the power and control panel, making for two cute smaller modules. The power module comes with this nice, thick, rubbery wristband looking thing, and that's so you can hang it on your light stand, which is super helpful. The cables feel pretty sturdy and reliable. I initially plugged it in the wrong way and I was getting an error message. Thankfully, I didn't damage the light and I did figure everything out, but I do wish there was a more foolproof way to know that you were plugging it in correctly. It does feature a locking mechanism. You have to pull down and then pull it out. You can't just yank it out, so I greatly appreciate that. The clamp that this light came with is absolutely fine, especially because it's such a small and lightweight light, but if you are adding heavier modifiers onto this, I would recommend putting the modifier on the light stand instead of the light because it might weigh it down. This light uses a Bowens mount, so you can use Zhiyun's own modifiers, like this parabolic softbox, or any other brand that you already have, like this other parabolic softbox, since the Bowens mount is pretty universal. The light also features an umbrella holder if you want a super cheap modifier option, which is always great. Let's talk about the physical controls. You have your power switch and two knobs, one for intensity, which goes up in 1% increments, and one for color temperature. This is a bi-colored light with an expanded color temperature of 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin, which means you can go super warm, super cool, or dial in that exact color temperature for even more flexibility. Like I said at the beginning, this light does have some tricks up its sleeve, the first being music mode. If you long press the color temperature dial, you activate music mode. This might be cool for music videos or maybe for events, but personally I don't see myself using this feature for the kind of videos that I create. It uses microphones to adjust with the loudness of your music, which can make for an interesting effect. I don't really know why a light needs microphones, but hey, it's there if you want it. The second and arguably more interesting trick that this light has up its sleeve is max mode. By long pressing both dials, you will turn on max mode, turning this 200 watt light into a 300 watt light for a brief period of time. It's wonderful that this unique feature exists on this light, but if you find yourself needing that kind of power on a more regular basis, I would look into getting a more powerful light, because this will heat up the light and prolonged usage could potentially damage it. But in small doses, this is a super handy feature for short bursts of bright light, for like high frame rate slow motion, for macro photo and video, or even for photography if you need more output. This light also has what Zhiyun is calling live mode, which means that if you have the power on but it hasn't been plugged in yet, when you do plug it in, it'll just automatically turn on. Let's quickly talk about color accuracy. I don't have any way to test the color accuracy of this light, but the manufacturer rates it at a CRI of 95 and a TLCI of 97, which is very respectable and fairly color accurate. But don't take my word for it or theirs. Do your own research and watch someone's video who has a psychotic and can actually measure that kind of thing. I personally recommend Gerald Undone. He's my favorite for those nitty gritty nerdy stats. This thing has a brightness of slightly under 10,000 lux at one meter away with no reflector or modifier. So that means this thing gets really, really bright. The fact that this thing is that small and a bicolor light and can get that bright Light is very impressive. What you're seeing now, I'm using it as my key light at 8%, and this is what it looks like when I raise the brightness, right? 
and add a hundred percent. That's really freaking bright. Let's talk about fan noise. I've been running this thing for the past week and a half for quite a few hours at a time, and I haven't heard any fan noise coming from this thing. Like I said, we are at 8% right now, and I will have some dead silence for you to listen to fan noise, and then I'll turn it to 100 so you can listen to dead silence there and see if you hear the fan for yourself, but I've never heard anything. If I bring the power module right up to the microphone, you might be able to hear something. But yeah, this thing is pretty quiet. So throughout this video, you've been seeing the practical tests of me using this light as a key light, but obviously because it gets so bright, you can use it for multiple purposes. You can use it as an area light to raise the ambient exposure in a room. You can use the reflector and get even more light going, or you could even use it as a photography light because this thing gets bright enough to actually do that. Zhiyun does have a mobile app for this light, so you can control it if you so wish. I don't really use it that often, but it is fairly straightforward and very easy to use. It has power on off, color temperature, temperature and brightness all from the convenience of your mobile device. So if you're unlike me and you are not using it right next to you and dialing in that perfect setting with the control box right next to you and you're maybe halfway across the room, you can do it on your phone, which is always convenient. So what are my overall thoughts on this light? I think this is a great light. I love how powerful and versatile it is, especially in such a small and portable form factor. Video lights are getting so good these days. I love seeing innovation that's not just power output and color accuracy. Because of this unique design, it really is so nice to just tear this light down, put it in this carrying case, and bring it with you. As someone who's had to lug lights to client shoots, this is so much more convenient. This light comes in at $379, which is comparable to the competition with the added benefit of some unique features as well as its small and portable form factor. So it really just comes down to what you want and value out of a light. More choice is always a good thing and competition breeds innovation and I've been loving the innovation that Juryun has been doing with this line of lights. But I want to know what you guys think. Are you excited about this light? Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Mark Steiner and I'll see you next time.